humans, humans, Disney fans, lend me your ears. What is the best Disney song ever? We're gonna find out together. Let's talk brackets. Hey everybody, Melanie here from Lend Me Your Ears and a super cute pair of ears from Callie and Me Boutique. These are Purple Space Galaxy Ears and I think they would be perfect for your next trip to Galaxy's Edge, either in Walt Disney World or Disneyland. Now, Callie and Me Boutique have sent me a few pairs of ears so you will be seeing more from them soon. For more information about their shop, you can check out the link in the description below. But Callie and Me Boutique, thanks for lending your ears. So if you've been following me lately on social media, you will have noticed that we are going to be doing something super fun here on Lend Me Your Ears. We are together going to be voting on and filling out this Disney song bracket. That's right, we're going to start off with 64 songs and through a process of voting and elimination, we will end up with the number one best all time Disney song. Or at least the best Disney song as voted by the viewership of Let Me Your Ears. Practically the same thing, am I right? But before we dive in, I wanted to give you a little bit of the history of how this bracket came to be. A couple of months ago, my friend Sharif reached out to me and told me that his family loves to fill out brackets and that he was in the process of making a Disney song bracket. Well, naturally, he reached out to me to get some of my expertise on what songs I thought should be in the bracket. And I said, I'd love to. What's a bracket? I mean, I had a loose understanding at best as to what a bracket actually was. Now, I knew that they are used oftentimes in sports, and then at the end, there would always be a winner. But that was pretty much the extent of my knowledge. But nonetheless, I gave Sharif my thoughts, he made a bracket, and then his family proceeded to argue over it and form family divisions that would last a lifetime. Naturally, I asked him if I could use the bracket on my channel. So let me explain to you the parameters of how a song could qualify for this bracket. A Disney song has to be from a full-length animated feature from Walt Disney Animation Studios. So if you're looking for a Pixar song, you're not gonna find it here. If you're hoping to be able to vote for your favorite Mary Poppins or Newsy song, you're out of luck. So songs from fully animated full-length Disney feature films. But even so, that's a lot of songs to pick from. And as I said before, I am not the bracket expert. So what Sharif did was he reached out to a bunch of his Disney loving friends and asked them to pick their favorite 32 songs from a long list of Disney songs. And as one of these friends, let me tell you, it was hard to do. So through this process, Sharif compiled a list of the most beloved animated Disney songs. Now, of course, there were some outliers and he had to reach out to us again and get some more opinions to fill in some of the missing pieces of the bracket. But lo and behold, voila, a 16 song bracket. Now, of course, some of your favorites might be left out and I will be forwarding all of your hate mail to Sharif. Once the 64 songs were chosen, they were divided into four regions. The four regions are as such. First, we have region one, the golden age of Disney. The golden age of Disney encompasses all the movies from Snow White pretty much up through the 60s. So you can expect to see some songs here from Cinderella, Lady and the Tramp, 101 Dalmatians, Peter Pan, just to name a few. Region number two are songs from the Disney Dark Ages, which are pretty much Disney movies from the 70s and the 80s, rounding out the list with The Little Mermaid, which was actually the beginning of the Disney Renaissance. From this bracket, you can expect to see some songs from The Jungle Book, The Aristocrats, just to name a couple. Our third region is going to be songs from the Disney Renaissance, these are all those great movies that you remember in the 90s. So we will be voting on songs from The Lion King, Pocahontas, Hercules, Mulan, just to name a few. And lastly, we have Region 4, which is Disney in the 21st century. In this region, we'll see some great hits from Frozen, Tangled, Moana. Yeah, 
some pretty good songs in this region as well. So we'll start with 16 songs per region. We will vote, we will eliminate until we are left with a winner for each region. Then the winners of region one and region two will go head to head. And the winners of region three and region four will go head to head until we're left with the two top Disney songs that will duke it out to find out which song is the best Disney song as voted by the audience of Let Me Your Ears. A coveted title to be sure. So how do you get in on the fun and vote? Well, I will be posting these matchups daily on all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can vote once per matchup on each of these platforms. That's right, if you are super passionate about your favorite song, you can vote up to three times. I will let the voting for each matchup run for 24 hours. I will then count the votes and then I will make another video sharing the results with you and sharing with you the next matchup for that day. One important thing to take note of is that on Facebook and Instagram, I will be posting the matchups in my story and not in my newsfeed or my page. So please make sure that you're checking my story on both of those platforms. So that's how it works, everybody. And don't worry if you're joining us a little bit later, you can jump in on the fun at any time. And please be sure to invite your friends along on this journey with us. It is gonna be so fun and the more the merrier. And be sure to leave any questions that you have about the Disney song bracket down in the comments below. And as always, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of the Disney fun. Until next time, this is Melanie from Let Me Your Ears saying, happy voting.